Hello children. Hi. How is everyone doing at home? Do you remember this dramatic corner? The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all day long. These children, how have all of you been at home with mommy and daddy? Yes, we all miss you in school. Um, I'm in your class right now. I'm in the nursery class. Just wanted to say hello to everyone and uh, to say hello to mommy and daddy as well. Okay, children, I know um, some of you are very busy. Um, the teachers have actually posted some activities for you in Kokolo. And I think uh, Teacher T has also uh, taken some video. And I think she's going to share with all of you soon. Uh, but she doesn't want to tell me what it is. She wants to keep it as a surprise for all of you. So in the meantime, can I ask all of you stay safe at home? Make sure you stay at home so that we can all be back to school on 5th of May. Uh, we are all excited to receive all of you again. Um, Mommy, daddies, can I also request that I, I know that you have been busy working at home and at the same time engaging the children at home. I know it's not an easy task, but appreciate all of you. Um, can I also ask that, um, uh, I know some of you are doing very interesting activities with the children. Um, if you could send us videos or pictures of what you've been doing with the children, it would be great um, because we're trying to... Uh, make a collage of all these activities that parents are doing with the children at home. Yeah, so, um, okay children, I will leave you now with Teacher T. Okay, so all of you take care. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Hello, nursery. I hope you're doing fine at home. Shortly after this, you'll be listening to a story. Would you like to make a guess? Okay, let's find out. Did you guess the correct story? So we are going to listen to the story of The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Kao. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. It's the little egg. Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. Let's find out what he's going to eat. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. One, two. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums. Count with me. One, two, three. Good counting, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, what did he eat? That's right, he ate through four strawberries. One, two, three, four. But he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges. One, two, three, four, five. But he was still hungry. He must be a big eater. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomach ache. Uh oh Let's find out what happened to the hungry caterpillar. The next day was Sunday again. 
the caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. Now he wasn't an, any hungry caterpillar anymore. And he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big fat caterpillar. So he built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out and... He was a beautiful butterfly. The end. Did you like the story? Share with mommy and daddy what you liked about the story. After this, we'll be doing activities about the story. Stay tuned to find out. Enjoy the story that I read to you earlier on and the activity suggested. Enjoy trying it at home and see you soon!